First year, Jared, as we're discussing, of course, the Fed out with their key policy decision in just a few hours. Ahead of that decision, though, we did get the latest, uh, I guess, reading on the employment numbers in terms of ADP private payrolls numbers. Those coming in a bit stronger than expected. And for more on that, I want to bring on Yahoo Finance's Emily McCormick to walk us through the report. Emily? Well, Zach, some upbeat new developments on the labor market in the data released this morning. ADP reporting that private payrolls grew by 571,000 in October compared to September. Now, this was better than what consensus economists had been looking for, with that estimate coming in at 400,000 private payroll gains. Now, the month earlier, we also saw private payrolls be downwardly revised just slightly to 523,000 from the 568,000 that had been previously reported for September. Uh, but again, a couple months now of seeing private payrolls coming in above that half a million mark. Now, the job gains in terms of uh, the sector action here, uh, we saw these uh, these were led by a wide margin in the service providing sector, which saw net payroll gains of 458,000 last month. And that was in turn led by leisure and hospitality jobs, which brought back 185,000 jobs. And in fact, if we look back over the past couple of months, leisure and hospitality private payrolls alone have brought back an average of about 190,000 jobs per month between July and now October, according to ADP. So definitely seeing a lot of the biggest gains here coming in some of the industries that had been hardest hit by the pandemic last year. And then taking a look at a couple of other industry groups that saw some notable gains here, professional and business services, as well as education and health services, each saw some notable gains of about 88,000 and 56,000 respectively. And then turning to the goods producing sector, also a pickup in hiring across the board there as well. Manufacturing and construction employers brought back more than 50,000 workers each, so that also built on gains from September. Now, as usual, we are getting the ADP private payrolls report two days before the official government jobs report out from the Labor Department. That is expected to also show a pickup in hiring for October compared to September. And September had, of course, been a pretty big disappointment uh, with those, of course, coming in at just over 190,000 for September versus what had been an estimate at the time for more than half a million. But we'll see where things land for this Friday's jobs report. Uh, the usual caveat always applies with the ADP private payrolls report, which is that it isn't a perfect indication of what we will be getting from the government data. Uh, but at least for now, Wall Street definitely uh, seeing a positive here in this morning's labor department or labor market data, guys. Yeah, historically in this pandemic hasn't been all that great of a signal in terms of what we're expected to see in the big Friday jobs number. But we'll see what happens this time around. At least optimism and strength there uh, to report today. Emily McCormick bringing us the latest. Appreciate that.